This piece is based on a letter from Ninja Man to Empress Misha, a direct response to a so-called blogger written and reported by Jojo Mac. Ninja Man started out by saying the following, Let it be known that this is not necessarily part of a series of letters that is intended to inspire, but a one-off, as I have been taken off course to address a particular situation. Sometimes the devil inserts itself into things to divert you from the work assigned to you by a greater force, trying to put obstacles in your way because, as we all know, even he, the devil, has his army at work and therefore we have to confront them head on. Yes, it's no secret that I'm locked up. I was on the cell block when an officer informed me of the disrespect that was directed toward me from this so-called blogger. And though I am trying incessantly to stay in a positive state of mind, had no intention of putting myself in a position to have a confrontation of any kind, I must address this issue. I will not give this person the pleasure of a mention by name, but I'm sure everyone who saw this disrespect will know to whom it's directed. First, I would like to address the tall-up situation as it relates to dancehall queen Spice. Spice has always been my artist from the onset of her career, and I'm extremely proud that she's in the space that she's in. When she came into the business, I took her under my wings because I saw that she had something special that needed nurturing. I have played the part of protector on occasions and pitted her against seasoned superstars in order to bring her relevance and to get her into the running. It's a dancehall thing that people like this so-called blogger would not understand. However, I think Spice should have a clear understanding of that. I do not know whether or not this person is a representative of her brand, but if she is, my advice to Spice would be to alter that situation immediately because it is not a good look for her. People like those are weak links that do not enhance but diminish. It's like plastering mud on a pure white suit. Spice, you are better than that. If you need a representative, and she's indeed one, please find someone with class and a healthy state of mind to represent you. This person described Tallop in the worst way. She's no different than when Spice was coming after Cecile and the other dancehall artists that we pushed her up against. She has evolved and become more attractive with money as she grew in her career. The same for all other artists out there because none of them came into the game rich. But what I do not understand is why this person feel the need to come at Tallop because even at Tallop's worst, your best cannot compete. Now, as it relates to this person and by saying person, I am being very generous. As it relates to this person calling me all manner of names and speaking of me in such derogatory terms, this is what I have to say. You speak of my son being gay in the worst way, but you are in the same lane that he's moving in. You are one and the same. So when you speak of him, you speak of yourself. Your disrespect of me, which was very much unwarranted, tells me that not only do you not have a good grasp of the English language, but also that you are a product of your environment. I see you are banished to your backyard, a very sparse and dried up one at that. But it also proves that you are not living better than I am living in a prison cell. Growing up, the only being that was banished to the backyard is a dog. I feel sorry for your neighbors having to hear you consistently barking. I know they pity you. I had it in mind to tell you to act like a lady, but that would be disrespecting other ladies. You yourself cannot decide what you are. You were born confused. I can't say that God made you confused because it's obvious you are not a product of God. You are a product of the devil. But as bad as the devil is, he was smart enough to make you in such a way that you could not reproduce because the world do not need a second you. I understand you are angry at the world because you can't claim a specific identity and it must be disconcerting having to live in a body that does not function as normal human beings do. But the devil was very perceptive as well. So even then, he knew that you were not going to have much purpose. So he made you into a freak of nature. Curse all you like. Tell me about what I should do to my mother all you like. Call me ugly all you like. But one thing you cannot say is that you are a better man than I am. I may be in prison physically, but my mind is free. You, my dear, is in a mental prison fighting demons at every turn. It's those demons that cause you to lash out at everyone the way you do. You are the only blogger 
Sorry, I can't call you a blogger because that's not what bloggers do. And that would be a disrespect to real bloggers. You are a degenerate who cannot control your emotions, one that wakes up every day wishing you were someone else. Unfortunately for you, you are already made, however, unfinished. I would be mad too if I were you. I would not disrespect your followers because everyone is curious about someone like you, a freak of nature. You are a joke that keeps on giving and everyone likes a good laugh. You can respond all you like, but I will not give you the pleasure of another response because you're not worth it. It will be time wasted. And finally, just remember one thing as you go through your miserable life. You are dormant. You are stagnant. You, my dear, will always be inconsequential. Just another blob taking up space in society that must be daunting.